Hello, people of the YouTubes. Uh, today I'm testing this uh, Bisky water block or Bisky, I don't know what it is, for the uh, Gigabyte GTX 970G1 Gaming. As you can see, it's a pretty cool looking block. It's got the uh, Gigabyte eye on it. Engravings, it's a uh, nickel and plexi block. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty nice really. Uh, I got this block off eBay for £10, posted, uh, second hand, it didn't come with any screws or anything, it just came with the fittings which are on the back, uh, the plugs, and uh, some smaller fittings which I don't use, I've used my own fittings here. So I thought, to be fair, the cooler on these cards is pretty good, keeps the card at about 60 degrees, this here is the stock cooler for it, as you can see, triple fans. Uh, four heat pipes, it's a pretty decent cooler, keeps it 65 degrees on 100% load um, with the fans on about 65-70% which is pretty decent really um, but I wanted to try underwater so I got this full cover block like I say it was only £10 so it's pretty cheap so I've been running a Unigen Valley here on it for a while and uh, we're going to see what the max temperature is. You can see there it's 41 degrees currently. So I'll just quit from this and we can have a look at MSI Afterburner, which has been running in the background. So normally uh, I run this card at stock, just folding at home. But I've been running this fully overclocked. You can see plus 87 uh, millivolts on the core, 112 power limit. We're running at just under 1550 MHz on the core, 1547, uh, and on the memory, I need to open GPZ because MS Afterburner doubles it, running at 1912 on Hynix, which is fairly standard. So it's been running for ages, you can see there it's completely stable at these settings, uh, it might even be able to go a bit higher. And the maximum temperature that it has reached is 41 degrees like we were seeing there. It's been on for ages as this card. Um, power limit's not too high either, which is good. So it has been running um, Unigen Valley just at 1080p. So it's been uh, pretty good, really. So that's a, a, a Bisky water block. Now it didn't come with any instructions. So I just used these screws that were in the heat sink and uh, I haven't got the back plate on, it's just a uh, plain PCB at the back which does make the card a lot shorter as well. But yeah, overall it is a pretty decent water block, I'm quite surprised how well it's performed. It has a, uh, it's a jet flow style one like the uh, newer EK blocks are, where instead of going from one side uh, of the fins to the other actually comes uh, round up here through there and then on top of like pushed down through the fins and then out the sides and then it can either go straight up there back into there or it can come all the way round through here to the VRM so yeah it's a pretty good full cover block overall really it looks great as well very shiny now it has um, got a few stains on it because obviously it's second hand. I've noticed there is a crack. I don't know if you can see just there. But the crack is in the metal of the block. Um, not the actual plastic itself which is kind of weird but it seems to be performing okay. And uh, obviously it's not leaking water anywhere. It's been on for nearly an hour now. So... Yeah, it's a pretty good result overall. I don't know whether it'll improve my max overclocks on this GPU at all, because uh, I've tried it underwater with a monoblock just over the GPU core with a fan blowing on the VRM. But I'll have a go at that now and see what it can do. But yeah, I would kind of recommend these, because usually the uh, the Bisky water blocks are um, a lot cheaper, usually about half the price of an EK one for a full cover. And to be honest, the performance versus the air cooler is pretty good. And uh, I think even compared to an EK block or a 
uh, heat killer block it probably perform about the same maybe one or two degrees worse but I mean it's like half the price uh, I'm running my usual uh, 1080 radiator setup but with only uh, seven fans going and obviously the pond pump which is in the cool box so I do have plenty of cooling but I wouldn't have thought it'd uh, be much worse than any other block really so yeah I'd uh, actually recommend one of these for anyone who is looking to get into water cooling so uh, I suppose I'll try and overclock it a bit higher see if I can beat some scores and if not I'll uh, see you in the next video